Hey y'all, it's Michelle from Monkey's Creations. Mrs. Monkey is, is I'm starting to be known as. So I've gone ahead and just started it just a couple minutes early, let people pop in. I hope everybody had a good day. So I'm still, I didn't get as far along as I wanted. It's been a crazy day, but we will figure it out. Hey, y'all. I even got my hair done just for y'all. So what's everybody been up to today? You pop on, let me know where you're from. Hello, hello. I forgot to charge my laptop, y'all. It, it's been a day, so I'm gonna have to try to read the comments from my phone. Hello, y'all. Thanks for popping in. Hey. So, I'm just, I'm prepping my board. Um, is it, is it seven yet? Okay. Just popped in a couple minutes early. Hello, hello. I know, you like my shirt? I don't know where I got it from, but I figured since I was doing a Unique in the Creek board, I would wear my shirt. Hey, y'all. Thanks for popping on. So I've got an order for two angel wreaths, angel wings. So um, I've already got both the centers done, but they're really easy to do, y'all. Um, so the centers, the, um, the clients pick their colors um, and they're on a styrofoam ball. I believe it's the four, four and a half inch, um, I did, <laughs> just for y'all. Um, it's either four, four and a half inch styrofoam ball. Um, and then I just cut all of them off and glued them directly to the board. Um, now this client wanted a mixture of the pastel colors. Um, hey, hey, y'all. Um, so this is, this is the one we're gonna be working on tonight. Um, these are the exact color she wanted, um, with the white angel wings. And then this one is the other one that I'm probably going to finish working on tomorrow. So these are the flowers that the other client wanted. Um, and again, it's just on the other half. I apologize if I'm missing comments, I will go back through and, and get them all. Um, but it's on the other half of the styrofoam ball. Um, so these are the two centers we're gonna be working with. Totally different. Each one picked their own colors and type. So, so let me get these out of the way. So the board, Unique in the Creek board, flower board. I know, I love that pink too. Hey, y'all. Um, so, flower board, Unique in the Creek. On the first one I did, I actually cut it completely up the middle, but then I had to find a way to attach the two together. So, um, it was a mess. That's why I didn't want to come on and do this. I wanted to make it as simple as I can for y'all to replicate. Absolutely, 915 I believe, sparkles in the ALT. So y'all, once you're done with me, you can refill your, your, your wine, you're grab another beer, grab some popcorn and head over and watch her as well. I know I got my nails done, I, got, well, I feel like a whole new woman y'all. <laughs> so, what I did was I measured the gap on the other one, and this one is a little bit wider, um, but what I did was I went to that middle, if y'all can see that, that middle dot right there, and I went directly out. I should have brought another. Do I have another? Oh, I do, no, it's right here. So I wanted to make sure that I could get at least 
two petals here. Let me bring y'all down just a little bit. Hello, y'all. Two petals here and two petals here. That way it would cover that center line, okay? So you can kind of see what I did. Let me line them up. Um, so I just went directly from that center and I went, where am I at? There I am. So you can see where I cut it. If y'all want to screenshot it real quick, I just cut it with, yeah, it does look like a piece of pizza. I was hungry. If y'all want to screenshot this real quick, that way you know where I cut. And then you can follow that. I'll, I'll take another picture. Hello, hello, y'all. Um, so I was gonna start and just be almost done, but it didn't work out that way. So, so I'm going ahead and I'm prepping my board. So I'm gonna be using every hole. So, and it doesn't matter which way you go in, you're just gonna go down one hole and up the next. And you can go ahead and get all those done. That way it's just one less thing you have to worry about. I do have all my petals done except for a few. So I will go over that. Again, if I'm missing any questions, um, I'll go back through and I'll answer them, I promise. Um, I just use a rotary cutter, y'all. Um, I haven't, I haven't done the, the, uh, the bag sealer, um, or the wood burner. I just, you know, I might eventually sway myself to, to try it, but I just, a good old fashioned rotary cutter and it's going to fray y'all. Just be careful, take your time and the frays can always be cut. Um, so what I do is once I get it all done is I'll spray it and I don't even worry about the, the, uh, the, the phrase, I'll spray it, and then once that dries, I'll cut the phrase off, and then I'll spray it again. Um, that way it's, it's layered. Um, what did you, well, I, I just jigsaw. I just jigsawed it out, y'all. I can use a saw. So I will bring y'all down and we can get started. So I used, you can use any color. Um, I used white and I just cut them 10 by 10. Um, the other one, I think I used, I'm hoping I, I'm right. I used two rolls, um, rolls, I can say that right. Um, because it's white and it's thin and I did not want the board to show. So. I doubled the petals, and um, so I will bring y'all down and we'll get started. If y'all have any questions along the way, I will try to catch them. Um, yeah, I'll bring you down, we'll get started. I spray it with, the Rust-Oleum Clear Gloss. It's the UV, Fast drying, non-yellowing, UV resistant. And y'all can see I've even got my painting almost done. Um, and I sprayed it with this as well. Somebody asked me that earlier. Um, and I sprayed it with the exact same thing. Um, so all I have to do to this is add a star. And I'll seal it again probably two or three times. <laughs> I know. <laughs> and um, and then that one will be good to go. But that's what I spray my wreaths with. Um, that's what I spray the board with. Um, so hopefully it'll hold up. All right, I will bring y'all down. If y'all have any problems seen, let me know. This means thank you for sharing. This means I'm not gonna see a lot of your comments, but I'll try to look up every now and then um, and see if I'm missing anything. 
Um, so once again, 10 inch mesh. I did cut it at 10 inches. Um, and I'll see how far it goes. I was gonna run today and get another row roll um, in case I needed it, but I ran out of time. So it is what it is. Um, so let's get started. So I'm gonna take the two pieces of mesh. I'm gonna kinda, you're gonna do it with a curl side down. And you're gonna kind of line them up, and it doesn't have to be perfect, y'all. But line them up as best you can. And it's just a simple fold that we've all done. Now you could do this in so many ways. I was playing today um, with another way, um, but I figured tonight I'll just show you the way I did the other one. First time here, well, thanks for joining. My name's Michelle, this is Monkey's Creations. Um, some people call me Mrs. Monkey, some people call me Michelle, some people call me names I won't repeat. <laughs> but welcome, if you have any questions, let me know. Am I, oh, <laughs> I haven't had time to finish the, the caca. Anyway, so curbside is down. You're gonna turn it in a triangle. <laughs> and we're just gonna scrunch, start at this end. You wanna make sure that you fold that end down and you're gonna scrunch it all the way to the other side. So it looks like a big bow tie. Same fold we've probably done a million times. Flip it. Fold it up. And you can see it's fraying and I don't even care because that'll be taken care of. Awesome, thanks for watching. So flip it up and then I'm just gonna take my clothespins and just clothespin it. Now I've already done most of the other petals, so I'm gonna keep a few out and we'll go ahead and get started. That way if somebody pops in late, Wants to know how I did the petal, I'll have some to do it with. So, the only holes I did not prep were these two. So, on the two inside ones that only have a single hole, you wanna make sure you don't wanna go from this side, okay? You don't wanna go from the inside to the outside because that's gonna make your petal fold this way. You want your petal to fold inside so you're gonna take it and you're gonna run it this way. Can y'all see that? So that your petal is gonna go this way and not this way. And then we're just gonna take one of our, now this is the only, the, the, the inside two holes are the only ones that we're going to just separate the petals we already did and you're gonna put them right on top get these others out of the way and you're gonna zip it and then just kind of fold your petal in that way it's not going to the inside because you want a gap we want a thigh gap, y'all. I wish I had a thigh gap. <laughs> you see what? What you see? And then we're gonna just take the zip tie, tuck it inside, and then we can just cut that off. You can do it at the end, you can do it as you go. Doesn't matter, okay? But you know what? I should have left those. Let's backtrack. We're gonna do these last. That way I don't have to fight with them. <laughs> All right, so we're not gonna worry about these two inside holes. We'll do those last. So you're gonna start with the outside. And actually you can go ahead. Boy, okay, let me slow down a second. Let me get this back. 
because I did that to the other one and then I had to fight with that mesh the whole time. And I'm not gonna do that again. So go ahead, you can prep your board, but close them. Okay, sorry, it's been a day, I apologize. Go ahead and you can close them because once you do your petal, it's just gonna fit right in there. And I promise once I get going, it'll be fast, y'all. You see awesomeness? You have to say that, you're my cousin. <laughs> Ash, my cousin, y'all. So let me get these going. Here comes the hot flashes, cause I'm nervous now. I'm not nervous, I'm just, I'm not thinking. Okay, anyway, for you first comers, it's always, I wing it. It's half the time I don't know what I'm doing. So just follow along, laugh when I laugh. <laughs> It'll get better. <laughs> All right, so we're gonna take that same fold and I usually leave about a finger width out. And then we're just gonna zip it, okay? And then I just kind of pull it to the side. Nails, I love my nails. I use my nails to just tighten that up, okay? So that is gonna be our fold. And then I'm just gonna, I'm gonna cut these off as I go. And we're gonna put one of these, I know, I, I'm just, I'm frustrated. Anyway, so we're gonna put one of these in each of the two set of holes. Now, once we get up here, I'll show you, it'll be just a little bit different. So, finger width, pull it down. Tighten it, clip. See, we're going now, y'all. So what's everybody been up to today? Is it buffering? I've had, well, I haven't been on that much today because I've, that's other things going on. So I I know I tried to watch Dave and Lori just now and it was not good. So I'm just kind of laying these down flat as I go. And then tonight, once I get this part done, I will turn it upside down, put some books on it and um, it'll lay more flat. You made more hearts, awesome. Send me one. You made a purple rose, awesome. Aw, happy anniversary. My 30th is coming up the 18th of March. Oh, I feel it too, y'all. Let me grab just so I can it's starting to hurt my hands. So we're just gonna kind of angle these, flatten them as you go. Make sure they're in place. That's way when you turn it over later, you won't have any wrinkled petals. Yes, this is the Unique in the Creek flower board. So who on here has not tried a Unique in the Creek flower board or any kind of board? Anybody? Come on, raise your hands. 
You don't even have to type anything out. Hit the laughing button if you haven't made anything on the Unique in the Creek board. Hit the laughing emoji. Well, I don't see anybody. What? Girl, let me tell you, they are so easy. I know a lot of people get intimidated by, intimidated by them. Oh, there's a couple of people laughing. You just got your boards today. All right, well, y'all, once you start using these boards, I'm using them more and more. I mean, I've used them for quite a while, but you can do so much with them. So they're not just for flowers, you can cut them. You can make a, a daggone pizza. Figure, figure out a way, just start playing. You can make angel wings. You can make Texas size wreaths on these things and use it as a regular wreath frame. Um, so don't be intimidated. There's a lot of us out there. Just message us, we'll help you. So a lot of us have been playing with these boards for a while. So if you're on here and you haven't, and you're on the fence about trying them. Got your boards today, awesome. Making a carrot, I haven't tried the carrot yet. I'm doing a caca. <laughs> um, so you can go to Unique in the Creek, hit on the shop button. You can get your boards. When you get to the checkout for the coupon, put in monkey and you get 20% off. How cool is that? So if you're on the fence about trying them, now you can get 20% off. Use the code word monkey at the checkout and you get 20%. So now, y'all don't leave yet. You gotta finish watching. So now you gotta try them, no excuses. <laughs> I use my nails for everything, y'all. That's why they don't last. That's why they always fall off. So once again, just straightening them out as I go. Monkey, monkey. Monkey, monkey, say you 20%. See, I told you this would go fast once we started. I just had to get it together. Absolutely. I will show you, let me get this one in, and I will show you how I did it. If I can get this off. Now what I did was I did cut these earlier in the day and then I lay them out. I stack them all up in two stacks and I put, I lay books. Um, I lay my Probo on top of it, whatever I have. That way the petals are already flatter and easier to work with y'all. I don't like the dip. I don't like the dip. I've tried it. All right, it's coming together, y'all. All right, so petal. Because I'm using white, white's thin. I don't care what kind of white mesh you get, where you get it from, it's going to be thin. So I doubled up the petals. So I've got two. Actually, I've got three, but I only want two. 
10 inch mesh, cut it 10 inches, okay? You're gonna put one on top of the other. You're gonna put the curved side down. Put it in a triangle, can y'all see that? Put it in a triangle. Try to match these up as best you can. And then you're just gonna scrunch from one corner to the other, okay? So make your first turn, turn it down. That way the fray side is inside, facing down. Scrunch all the way to the other end. Make sure that side gets turned down as well. Flip it up. And that's the pedal fold I used. You really know, unless you get a wood burner and you cut it that way, if you try to cut 21 inch mesh into 10 inch by, it'll be five and a half because it's 21 inches long, you're just gonna get a frayed ball of mess. And I wouldn't even try it unless you use a wood burner. Okay. You're welcome. Now, if you want to use a wood burner or a, a bag stealer, yeah, go for it. But I would never cut um, 21 inch mesh 10 and then square it. There's just no way. So that's the fold. You're going to take it and just use a clothespin and clip it closed. That way, once you get to your board, you can just whip them in. Y'all saw how quickly I was able just to throw those in. Uh-uh, we don't have the time for no frayed ball of caca. No way. No problem, ask away. If I don't see it, if I don't see your question and I don't answer it and nobody else answers it, shoot me a message, that way you know I'll get it, okay? All right, so let's keep going. If anybody else pops on late, I got one more fold I can do. Well, I've gotta probably have to do it anyway. mess with your mesh now. That way once it's, you don't want to start doing it once it's all on there trying to rearrange everything. Just get it where you want it. And you could even just throw something on top and that way they're already starting to lay flat. Does anybody, does everybody know how to put a zip tie in these boards? Where did I get the board? This is a Unique in the Creek flower board. This is what it looks like when you get it. It's a big old board that just has holes everywhere. And I was up one night, all night, which I do a couple times a week where I'm up 24, 48 hours, and I'm, I just think, and that's it's no good, y'all. And then I was like, I can make angel wings. So I just cut it out. Now the first one I cut completely in half. Don't recommend it. I did it, I figured it out, but I was trying to find an easier way for y'all to do it. So I just cut out, as you can see on this side, I just cut out a little, 
piece of it. And that's where we're getting our wings from. With a jigsaw. I jigsawed it out, y'all. All right. So let me get this one in. Now I haven't made it on this board the way I cut it tonight. So I'm still trying to figure it out in my head, y'all. And you can see it's fraying like heck. I almost cussed. But that's all right. I'll just cut these big pieces off. And then I'll take it outside. I'll spray it, cut some more off, and spray it again. And it'll be just fine. I missed the question about the coupon code. Sorry, I hope somebody answered you. If not, shoot me a message, okay? All right, so did everybody know how to put zip ties in? All right, so you're gonna do it with the flat part of the zip tie facing up, okay? You're just gonna put it into your hole, bring it up to the next one. And then for this fold, you can go ahead and zip them, not all the way, but zip them close. That way it's already in there. You can just slide your pedal in. So head up. Bring it down, bring it up the next hole. Yes. Yes, ma'am. It will work on the horse boards. All right, let me get the rest of these in here. That way we can Slap the rest of these petals in. You're welcome. You're welcome, you're welcome. So we're almost halfway done. And that took, once I got started, it took me maybe 20 minutes. So that's the, the best thing to do. Go ahead, cut all your mesh. Go ahead, do all your folds. That way, once you get to your board, you can slap them in, call it a day. I do, I do use that. I use the, um, actually it's Rust-Oleum clear gloss that's what i use seals protects vitalizes revitalizes bonds to plastic fast drying non-yellowing and uv resistant okay now i've still got these two inside ones and I'll show you, we're just gonna do those a little bit differently. This is a Unique in the Creek flower board. You can go to Unique in the Creek, hit the shop button and shop away. Get as much as you want. When you get to the checkout, put in monkey and you get 20% off. How easy is that? Monkey, monkey, monkey. They have, 
this is the flower board. They have the character board, which I got one prepped today. This is the character board. I'm gonna do the home sweet home baseball. So I got that prepped today to do. I got, y'all, you can even paint them. This is the character board. Couldn't find what I wanted, couldn't figure out how to enlarge it without totally pixelating the, the image. So I just painted the daggone thing on the board myself, sprayed it, clear coat it, call it a day. So anything you can do on a wireframe, you can do that plus more on these boards, okay? But if you ever have any questions, message me. I'll get back to you. A lot of you have already done that, and I get back to you as quickly as I can. When you get to the checkout, it'll give you the option for a coupon code. That's where you're gonna put that in. I appreciate everybody sharing the love and sharing this video. All right, I got the other side in. Hello, hello. Thanks for watching, y'all. Okay, let's slap the rest of these in. Now, I do not do anything with these outside holes, y'all. Um, I mean, you could add more leaves, and we can see how it looks um, once you add more, but I have not done it. I didn't do it on the last one, but we can look and see. Let me see how much more we have left, how many petals we have left um, to see if I have enough to play with that outside ring. Thanks for sharing, y'all. All right, now here we're gonna start. Where's my Santa? Now here's my Santa. Here's where we're gonna start separating these petals, if y'all can see that, because right here is the center of our wings, okay? So I'm gonna start, I'm gonna separate these right here. You're not gonna see the board, but you do wanna kinda give that separation. Get rid of these. Get rid of these big ones. So, all of these, not this one, but these three, you're gonna part the C's. So I should have thought about charging my laptop, but I didn't. We're making some angel wings. top. Where did my, oh, that was my center. So I'm going to separate these. Okay. That way we start to get the center. This one is going this way. So once you get started, you just kind of follow your holes and it'll, it'll kind of tell you which way to go. But it can still be man, man, manipulated into other directions. <laughs> that was a big word. Manipulated. Hello, hello. This 
one's still kind of going this way. And then this is our other center, so it's gonna be split. It, it does, it goes really quick. Once you get all your petals cut and done, um, you just slap these bad boys in and call it a day. It goes really quick. I gotta hurry. Well, what time? Isabel comes on at what, 9.15? Actually, I should have, let me, let me hold that over. I'm gonna put this one in, that way I can put that other right on top. Actually, let me, I'm getting ahead of myself. Y'all don't fight with this mesh. Do the outside first. The more you fight with it, the more it's going to fray. So I should not have probably put that one in yet, but it'll be okay. It'll be okay. Start laying these flat. two in and then I can lay those back down. Exactly. So learn from my mistakes, y'all. There you go. Close pins are your friend, especially when making these flowers. All right, let me just, I'm gonna lay this back down for a minute so it doesn't start staying like that. So we should have done those folds last, but that's all right. So y'all go, y'all go get the boards and then get some nails. That way you can use your nails as, as tools. <laughs> Cause they work so well. Actually, I'm gonna jump down here to the bottom. Yeah, that was my dogs. My cat hasn't made an appearance. I think the last time I went live, my cat showed its butt to the camera. So that was fun. This is why my nails break off all the time, y'all. your nails all the time yeah mine always break most of the half the for at least a couple weeks out of the month I'm walking around with you know a couple missing nails and then I get called out on it when I'm live go get your nails done I cut 
these pieces 10 by 10. And I do have one more I can fold, so I will, I don't need it actually, but I will fold it so you can see how I'm folding it. But it's the same fold. Um, a lot of us do on the sunflowers and those kinds of things. flat. All right, just a few more, y'all, and we are done. I did because, um, I did cut two rolls because I wasn't sure, I couldn't remember how many I used on the last one, um, and I didn't want to run short while I was live, <laughs> so I did cut two rolls but um, it does not look like I'm gonna need it. So I will let y'all know once we're done exactly how many petals you need. If you cut your board the same way I did, which you don't have to, um, you know, a lot of this is just giving y'all ideas. You can do your own thing, make a pizza, make a caca emoji. Leave it to me. Who else is gonna make a caca emoji but me? <laughs> it was 10 inches. All right. So if you're just tuning in, I try to keep at least one finger length out. Make sure you zip tie those tight. I've never had one fall out. I don't know if they would or not. But you don't wanna take a chance. And you just wanna lay these flat as you go because the more you mess with them, the more it's gonna fray. So get them where you want the first time. And then you don't have to go back. Okay. All right, got three more. Use the scrap bag. <laughs> well, I can't use white, cacao brown. Um, actually, no, I've made a couple of, um, regular size wreaths on a flower frame using 21 inch poofs. So you're not limited to just, just the rows with a 21 inch mesh. I don't remember which one it was. I did like that or I would show you, um, but I did use the 21 inch for 10 inch poofs. Um, on one of the flower boards. I don't remember which one though. All right, let me get this one in here. Now you got me trying to figure out which one. Okay, now I can lay, lay these down. as you can. All right, 
it. We got one more. I'll show how, if there's anybody on here who did not see how I did the petal fold. So it's 10 inch mesh, cut it 10 inches. Now you can do nine. Um, it, it doesn't, it doesn't matter. You, you'll definitely, oh, I knew that was gonna happen. You'll definitely use a little less mesh um, if you cut it at nine. Um, but it just makes it a little bit bigger if you cut it at 10. So I'm gonna lay one on top of the other, line it up as best I can. Okay, you've got your curl side down. What a mess. And then you're just gonna scrunch from one corner to the other. Okay, you're gonna start with your fold, turn that side down, scrunch till you get to the other end, fold that side down as well. So it looks like you have a bow tie. Okay, and then you're just gonna flip it up, just like that, okay? Yeah, just cause it's uneven. But, um, and then just put your clothespin, and there you go, it's ready to throw in the board. Okay. You're welcome. All right. All right, that's the last of the main. Now, remember we left these. We're parting the way, making sure our wings are still going out. Now for these, I'm gonna show y'all the difference. You could play around, y'all. Absolutely, try it. Now remember what I said, we're, if you fold, Got an extra piece here. If you put this in angled toward the inside, then your wing is gonna go toward the inside and you don't want that, okay? So you're gonna angle it going this way. So you're going towards the inside or the outside of your frame. That way your wings go this way and not this way, okay? Absolutely. You can make a butterfly, y'all. Get colorful wings, figure out a center for your butterfly, get some antennas, Beautiful butterfly, Pac-Man. Come on, I never would have thought of Pac-Man the other day when I, I posted that. Now this is the only petal we're gonna do different. So we're gonna separate these and not keep them together. And you're gonna zip tie it this way. Okay, and then just, you can take it to the back and zip it right in the hole, okay? That way your petal is going in just like that, okay? One more down here. I'm not old enough for Pac-Man. Girl, I grew up playing Pac-Man. I'm an old lady. I'm 50, man. 
up for just a minute get this pedal down here I'm probably playing pong 50 is the new 40 girl all right now let me tuck these down under here Okay, so our wings are taking shape, y'all. Okay, now we're just gonna do these down here. Do it the same way. 60 is the new 40. <laughs> okay, I don't know. Some days I feel like I'm 80. these over real quick so that y'all can see me do this and then I'll lay them back down I know what beer pong is is that but I don't think that's what you're talking about <laughs> I don't think we're talking about beer pong She's out of the hospital, doing much better. Okay, so let me, I'm gonna tuck these in a bit underneath and kind of push them to the outside, okay? And then you can lay them back down I know it seems like I'm taking time with these pedals, but the more you do it now, the less you'll have to do it later. You're late, you're late to the party. You can't be late to my parties, girlfriend. But thanks for popping in. Oh no, I'm so sorry, Barbara. It's, it's so hard. So hard. <laughs> All right, last one, y'all. And I'm just going to tuck this one around to the back. You just found me. Well, I was right here the whole time. <laughs> I'm teasing, y'all. All right. So there it is. Now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna see how much the center covers. Cause like I said, I hadn't tried this since I figured out another way to cut the board. So this is what we have so far. And if you can see, you can still kind of see the board. So This is the center that the customer wanted. So I wanna see how much of that is going to cover the board. And it looks like most of it. So I don't have to worry about going in and covering the rest of that board. If you have a smaller center, center if you had a smaller center, what you're gonna do 
is you can even put, if y'all can see this, let me hold it up. I'll turn it backwards. If y'all can see, this is where it's kind of bare. So right down here, you could do another petal from here to here, from here to here on both sides, okay? But because my center is so big, um, I don't need to do that, but I will show y'all. Y'all want me to do it and show you in case you have the, you do it with a smaller center so you know what to do. I can do that. We'll just put two more here. That way y'all can see. Um, so I'm just going to bring this up and I'm gonna take, and I'm gonna put, we're gonna go from this hole to this hole. If I can find the hole, there we go. And then we'll just put another fold right there. That way if you have, if you are making one with a smaller center, then it's covered. Okay. I'll measure it in just a second and I'll give you an idea of how big mine is. So then I'm just gonna put that zip tie right back down, bring this one to the side. And that covers that hole, that, that gap in the board, okay? If you wanted, you can do the same thing here and here. So let's go in, since I did that side, we'll do this side as well. So I'm gonna bring that tab up. I'm gonna slide the zip tie from there to there. So I'm just going from this hole to this hole, okay? So you can create extra places wherever you want. Now it gets to the outside, you're gonna have bigger gaps, um, but inside it's not gonna be any problem at all to add your extra petals. You know, I played, I would, when I first was playing with this, I just, it was a day that I shouldn't have been trying to mess with it because I was not in a good mood. Um, and I probably made six bows, y'all, maybe seven bows, and none of them, none of them just looked right. Or I just, I wasn't in the mood to be doing it. Um, so you could, you could put a bow. Um, you know, I made a few with big tails flowing and um, actually, I think I have one here. Now it's all mushed now, but this was my original bow. Um, it kind of had the grays and silvers. Um, when it had big flowing tails, but then I didn't like any of them. And then I played with those roses and I was like, yeah, that's it. So that's how I came up with just covering the centers with the flowers. And then I didn't have to worry about any bows, but you could put bows, you could do, you could do whatever you want, y'all. Play, 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 play. If it doesn't work out, take it apart, okay? All right, there we go. Now this center, let me see. Let me cut this spray off because it's, it's driving me crazy. So this center, <clears throat> I don't know where to put it. So this was originally, let me see if I can. This was originally a five and a half inch 
five and a half inch ball. And then once I got, and I just glued, hot glued the petals or the, the, um, the flowers right into it. Um, I didn't have to worry about coverage. You, you know, if you're using something else, you may want to paint your balls first. Um, but I knew I wasn't going to have to paint it. Um, so I just hot glued the roses right to the ball. I left a little bit of stem on there um, and then just stuck it in the ball. Awesome. Thanks for watching. Um, and then what I'll do is on the last one, I actually, because I wanted it to set up higher, um, I put it on a piece of styrofoam to set it up more because those flowers, those flowers were a little bit bigger than these. Um, so it did not sit flat like this one does. Bring y'all back up a little bit. Um, so I glued another piece to the bottom and then I glued this right on top. That way it kind of sat up higher and didn't get pushed down in. Um, so that is it, y'all. So what I'll do is I will turn it upside down and I will put books, if y'all can see that, I will put books down to flatten these petals even more overnight and then it'll be good to go. So I'll bring y'all up. Y'all can get some idea of what it looks like. I'm not going to put the centerpiece in yet because I do want to lay it flat overnight, spray it, get all these frays cut off. Monkey, monkey, monkey. And then this will get glued. Part the wings. So there it is, y'all. Bring y'all up closer. See if you can see it. And then this is the center for the other order. So you can do, or you can do a bow. You can, you know, do whatever you want. But I love these, I love these big balls. I just wanna. <laughs> ah, there you go, awesome. I know, I love the pink. These were the flowers that they wanted. I kind of liked this idea. Just a little mishmash of, I think it'll look, you know, it's all about the customers. Whatever they want, they get, right? Thank y'all so much. Okay, so let's recap. Flower board. Okay. Center. Angle it down. And I'll give y'all the exact... Because it, it actually worked out really well. Better than the one I cut in half because that was, that was just a, a mess. Um, but I'll give you the exact where I cut them. I'll take a picture and send it to y'all. I'll, I'll post it. Um, 10 inch mesh, cut it 10 inches. Double your mesh if you're going to do the white. Um, Put in your zip ties, make sure when you get to that one that you point it this way, not inside. Um, what else? Any questions? Probably. 
Yeah, it would probably work on a smaller board. I got Michaels. I've been to Michaels two days in a row. <laughs> Michaels, Michaels. Oh, thank you so much. I look good for 50? Yeah, it's it's the color, it's the Botox, yeah, you name it. <laughs> Are they silk? I don't know. Maybe. Do I have the, let me see. It doesn't say, it just says floral. There's the number, that's the number for the, um, the white ones. Um, do I have the other? The pink ones, these are the pink ones. And it doesn't say either. Oh, it says Bush, Bush Gerber, whatever that is. Those were the, the pink. Could you get away with one petal? Maybe, um, I kind of, I don't know, I kind of like the look of the double because it just gives it more depth, I think. But you could try it, paint it and, and try it. You know, just do a, a couple petals and um, see if it, it hides it. Thank you so much. Could I put the bow up against the wings? It's all smushed, y'all. I got, I got frustrated and just threw it everywhere. But you don't, you don't have to, you know, put tails. I had them, you know, all curved and I just, I think I was just frustrated that day and I didn't want to be messing with it. But um, that was, that was the first bow I made. Earlier, it just wasn't, it wasn't working for me. How did you form the petal? Um, let me see, I think I had a, uh, oh, here. I'll bring you back down, almost. <laughs> it almost took a swim. <laughs> a lot of things take a swim in this house. Oh, psh, how far can I throw it? 10 by 10, curved side down. Put it triangular or uh, diagonal. Start at one corner, turn that corner down. Scrunch it all the way to the other corner. Turn that corner down. You have your bow tie. Flip it up. And that was the petal I used. I just doubled my mesh. But the other, there are so many things. You, I mean, you could even um, twist it and double your petal like that. How cool would that be? Put feathers. Try playing with feathers. Play with, I wanted to, Try boas, y'all. It's just a it's just a zip tie. Just a zip tie. That's all I used. Thank you so much. Thank you, thank you. So tomorrow I'm gonna finish the caca board. I don't think I have time tonight. I don't know if I want to mess with it. Feathers, boas. 
Now these are green, obviously you wouldn't. Yeah, maybe not boas, but feathers, definitely I thought about the feathers one. Um, awesome. But this is, I'm gonna work on this one tomorrow. Um, I've got a couple different kinds of flowers. Um, this is the character board that I prepped just with white paint. Um, I painted on top of that. I am gonna do a star. Um, so once I get the star put on there, I'm gonna seal it a couple more times. Um, and then I've got red, white, and blue roses. So I think that's what I'm thinking. I'll put like two or three rows of blue and then I'll alternate red and white around the rest of it. What do y'all think about that? Would that not be awesome? Because us Texans love our Texas. Tulips. Yeah, I, I got um, some of the, I got a lot of the tulips, um, but the blue is just not what I wanted. I wanted blue. I don't want baby blue. Awesome. Unique in the Creek. Go to Unique in the Creek. Um, hit on the shop button. It'll take you directly to their page where you can buy all you want. Sorry, there go my dogs. Um, so you can buy the boards. You can buy the centers to put. Y'all, I hate to Mod Podge. Absolutely hate it. Um, so that's why I painted. I just painted right on it. Um, Use the code word monkey at checkout. That'll get you 20% off. Um, so no reason not to try these boards, y'all. So I'm gonna work on that one. I'm gonna work on the home sweet home. I've got some, what do I have? I've got some ball, little balls, baseballs, softballs. Um, I'm gonna be putting in there. How cute is that? Um, Thank you. So, yeah, on the nights I'm up all night long, y'all, y'all, y'all should, if, if y'all could read my mind, I just don't have the time to implement everything I want to do. It just, it takes me forever. Oh, it didn't work? Yeah, just, yeah, shoot Lori a message. They'll figure it out. Yeah, it's monkey. Monkey at checkout. That'll get you 20% off. And um, that's all I got, y'all. Any questions? Absolutely. Send it to me. I'll be more than happy to throw it in there. <laughs> She, she's okay. She's much better. She's at home and doing much, much better. Thank you. It doesn't ship from Canada. It ships, they send it to the U.S. and it ships through the U.S. You're so welcome. I don't think so. It should just be monkey. If you've tried the code and it worked, um, hit the star and let me see if it worked. Anybody on here use that code tonight? If you have, send me a heart and let me see it. Heart, heart, heart. Let me see if you've used that code tonight and it's worked. Okay, I just got a heart, so I know it's working. So maybe try it again if it's if it doesn't. Shoot Lori a message, and um, she can help you out. Okay, well, if y'all don't have any questions, yeah, try it again one more time. Okay, 
I apologize for those. If it's not working, shoot Lori a message or shoot me a message and I'll get it to Lori. Um, you put in monkeys and it worked or did you put in monkey? Is it monkeys or monkey? I thought it was just monkey, M-O-N-K-E-Y. Is there another class soon? I don't know, what do y'all wanna see? What do y'all want to see now that my life is kinda of calmed back down? Y'all don't forget, 9.15, let's go watch Isabel. She's gonna do the flamingo. So it's your unique in the creek night. What? <laughs> okay, she's used monkeys. So M-O-N-K-E-Y-S, try that. Yes, everybody go watch. I thought she was on at 9.15. Is it 9.15 or 8.15? Yeah, Isabel, it's 9.15, isn't it? There you go, Dave's still on here. Dave, is, is Lori on now or uh, is Isabel on now or at 9.15? You're so welcome, thank you so much. She is Sparkles in ATL or ALT. Nine, yeah, that's what I thought, 9.15, and she's central. So Isabel's not on yet. Oh, she is? Okay, well, everybody, I'll let y'all go. go. Let's all go watch Isabel. I'll jump on there in just a minute. All right, thanks for watching, y'all. Any questions, shoot me a message. I'll be more than happy to help you out, okay? Go watch Isabel. Love y'all, bye.